What's the crack? Welcome to episode 2 of Emerald Ecstasy Surf Adventures Around Ireland. In this particular episode, there was no surfing. What we did was return to my old boarding school, Glenstall Abbey, where I did six years of life between the age of 13 and 18. As you can see, it is quite a beautiful place. I didn't realise it at the time. I had great times and had tough times. This is where we played many great rugby games, these pitches, many fond memories. I can honestly say that I'm so blessed to have attended this school. I'm incredibly thankful for the, for, the, for the morals of the monks who run this school instilled in me as a young man growing up. Well, I went astray for a few years in college and uh, these morals uh, really stuck. And here you get to meet Father John, an old French teacher of mine. Enjoy this interview. Yeah, separating the words individually. Well, I can obviously hypothesize that the emeralds is something beautiful mm. and attractive, yeah. and it's often an adjective used for Ireland. Yeah. And ecstasy is also a noun, which indicates something which is highly uh, enjoyable. Yeah. So you put the two of those together, it must be superlatively enjoyable, whatever it is. There you go, good answer. Second question, the crack. What is the crack? Well, there are many kinds of crack. The okay. Irish crack. The Irish crack is quite different from the Australian crack, which yeah. you purchase for money. Mm. But the Irish crack is a social experience where yeah. you are with other people and enjoying their company. So you may have a little bit of Australian crack. Well, I hope not, <laughs> for your health's sake. No, but you can not. maybe have some glass of Guinness instead. Brilliant. Completely agree. Irish crack is far more innocent, far more enjoyable. And less costly, actually. Exactly. Exactly. And you and your family. Final question. How do you feel in your heart about God raising Jesus from the dead? I do a lot more than I feel from my heart, I think about it. Yeah. It's not a religion based on feelings and emotions and mm. prejudices or biases. Mm. In fact, I'm quite interested in the historical story of the Jewish people and uh, Jesus and then the testimony that he died and that he rose from the dead and he was a first. And nobody's done it since, to our knowledge. Nope. And this in fact fulfills a whole tradition and indeed an aspiration of humanity. So it is a reason for Chris it is the reason for Christianity developing. And it's the main reason for me being a Christian. And it infiltrates all my life because it's a life-oriented religion. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sean. You're very welcome. Thanks for asking. So that is what we are apparently doing traveling around Ireland at the moment. I hope you enjoyed episode two. In episode three, we make our way over to County Clare.